Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley here in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, the website is watershed.net or drbobmacaulay.com if you want to kind of look around and see what my philosophy is. Um, so I just thought, wanted to talk a little bit about the raw food diet and uh, how unsuccessful this is for most people. And, um, you know, um, you know, people will get sick on the raw food diet, sick on the raw food diet, uh, whatever that means. And I hear people, you didn't do it right. Well, who knows what right is. I did the vegan. I heard years ago some girl gets on YouTube and she says, uh, you know, I, I, I got sick. I became a vegan and I got sick. I did it to a T. That could mean anything, obviously. So I don't want to argue with all these other people. I do want to talk about, um, you know, something called choline, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, and it is incredibly important. I'll tell you how I get choline. Um, but, um, you know, look, for 25 years now, close to it, 20, you know, 2, 25, whatever years, I have been on a raw food diet. Um, and it's been about 90% raw. Um, and, you know, a little cheating here and there. Some days it's 100% raw. I've gone days and days just eating only raw fruits and vegetables. One of the things I will tell you is that I just um, only eat fresh raw foods. So I eat greens. I go to the produce section. I eat fruit. Um, and I feel fantastic. I mean, you know, I'm 66. I just turned 66. And uh, as I like to say all the time, I still run a six-minute mile. I got on my elliptical. I have a professional elliptical, and uh, I put on level eight. I, I work out on that every day. I went, I went uh, four miles in 20 minutes. So that's five. That's that's four five-minute miles back to back. Okay, that's my record. So 20 minutes, you know, and that's moving. And I got warmed up, and usually I just jump on and I go about three and a half miles every day. But I work out every day. So kind of whatever I'm doing is working, and it's working for me. Um, so I've been a vegetarian for 42 years now. Um, actually, wow, going for, 43, 43 years um, this month. And uh, I started in 1980, and I was using a lot of. Uh, I just stopped eating meat. So a little bit of fish, at then but a lot of eggs, some dairy products. So I got a lot of protein doing that. When I found out about spirulina and chlorella, I stopped doing any of that. I've always been a water drinker, but when I found out about alkaline ionized water, then that's when I started drinking that. Now, I've never heard anybody promote alkaline water, alkaline ionized water in the raw food world. Not really. I mean, some of them, I know they bought a water ionizer from me, or maybe they bought one from someone else, but they really don't talk about water. My whole day revolves around water. I start out with big, two big, tall glasses of water. Um, and... Uh, so, you know, that's, that's a big part of it. That's the, probably the number one reason why I'm so healthy is that I drink water constantly. And I drink alkaline ionized water, which is exactly like raw fruits and vegetables, except there's no nutrients in it. Then I use, which I never hear very few people talk about in the raw food world with all these raw foodists. I'm not a part of that. You know, I'm not like in the clique of raw foodists. You know, they never really accepted me or liked me. I don't know. So um, we kind of know each other, but, you know, I think they feel like maybe I do different things in them. But I use spirulina and chlorella. That's my protein. It's 60% protein in here. Now, I just finished my, my latest book on spirulina and chlorella. So I know what I'm talking about, okay? I've been wanting to write this for like 10 years or more. Chlorella and spirulina, kings of all superfoods. Nothing comes close. You can take your wheatgrass, barley grass, juice it down. Those are great. I love having that stuff. But you don't need any more than that for protein and the broadest array of nutrients of any foods known. You could live on those foods exclusively and be healthy. And then I only eat raw fruits and vegetables. Now, I eat like bananas. I get organic. I try to eat organic as much as I can. Right now, I'm eating all these um, Asian pears from my friend's tree and apples. And, you know, you just can't beat that stuff. Tons of tomatoes. Um, and I eat everything. I don't, there's nothing on my list that I don't eat well. Yeah, that's a nightshade plant and all this, you know. And, uh, but again, and then in the winter, I do a lot of sprouting. So I get, you know, all sorts of different, really fresh foods. Um, so at any rate, that's what I do. Raw fruits and vegetables. Now, I do probiotics. And I won't go into the details, but I do, uh, you know, I do a full spectrum probiotic. I do uh, DE111, which uh, along with a probiotic, that's from Deerlin, 
uh, that company got bought. Everything's getting bought in my my industry, and by giant corporations. And uh, and then I do Saccharomyces boulardii. That's like um, something for the colon. That's a yeast. Um, I take that. I like apple cider vinegar powder. It's really good for your digestion. So uh, those are all the things. And digestive enzymes. I always take that. That's you know. And I I haven't done that for 25 years. I've been doing digestive enzymes five six years now. And they're fantastic. I really see a change in how I feel. But you, because it's not what you eat, it's about what you assimilate. So I'm big into the uh, probiotics. You really got to have a lot with every meal. There is, you know, you definitely, there's the gut-brain cl- connection. You got to have healthy stuff. And it's not only what do I put into my body, what don't I put into my body? Because, you know, if you, if you eat, uh, you know, fast foods for lunch, and then raw fruits and vegetables for dinner, well, you know, it's, you're just canceling each other out, one step forward, one step back. So I don't eat garbage. I don't eat anything out of a box, a jar, or a can, very, very few things. So I do that, and then, um, um, you know, and then another thing, I take minerals. So I have a full-spectrum mineral. You can't, this doesn't have a label. That's got 26 different minerals in it. You've got to stay mineralized. Very, very important to take minerals every single day. Every physiological per- process depends on, on a mineral of some kind. So um, I never miss that. I take it every single day, uh, the, the minerals. You know, you've got to stay mineralized. There's all sorts of different ones. Like it's silver. You know, if you get an infectious disease or you just want to keep your, maybe you had some dental work, I recommend this, okay? you got a sinus problem. Uh, anything, any kind of infectious disease, it's this. And do it in an empty stomach because if you just ate something, your blood is a mess, so don't do it. Um, Bismuth is, is another good one to, to take for that. I do platinum sometimes in the morning, you know. Uh, I don't make it that much of a exact thing. I take gold every night before I go to bed because then you you remember your dreams. I think you sleep better. Indium for your pineal gland. So, But they're all in that full spectrum. But stay mineralized. you got to do that. I take um, shilajit for minerals. I take uh, brown seaweed extract, which is concentrated kelp. I've been selling that for years. That's for your 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 minerals you got to stay mineralized and then the next thing is i never hear raw food just talk about it's exercise so i'm still running as i said a, a six minute mile um i'm not falling apart my knees don't hurt I, that, my knees should be shot by now according to everybody you'll see what happened to your knees my knees are fine um i do take calcium l threonate and um, and that's uh, L threonate is the amino acid that gets it into your bones and in your you know you use calcium all over the body. Take it apart from magnesium, and I'll show you that. And I do mag- magnesium L threonate goes to the brain. Okay, so I'm getting it liquid angstrom, or, you know. And then you know all the foods I eat, lots of magnesium in them. Um, yeah, I have a garden during the summer. Usually this year was one of my worst gardens because <laughs> I was too busy writing books. But uh, you know. So, vigorous exercise. I work out 25, 30 minutes every single day, usually about five days a week, to be honest. And um, it's intense. I do bodybuilding. I mean, I got weights going. I've got my abs. I, every part of my body gets exercise, okay? Um, and you got to do that. So, I just think so many raw foodists, they're just lazy. They want to do yoga. They do, I've never heard any of them. I'm not going to I'm not gonna mention names. It doesn't matter. So... Um, so there's that, and then, you know, stay positive, positive mental attitude. You know, I have a spiritual life. I mean, I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic, so I really, uh, you know, stay close to God and think about God a lot, and that gives you a lot of positivity, you know. <clears throat> you, know you want to uh, pray and hope and don't worry, stop worrying. And it's hard for me not to worry. I worry about everything, but I just say, you know what, it's okay, stop worrying. So that's what I do. And that's my seven-component health protocol right there. I mean, that's I wrote book after book after book. Here's my uh, this one here. This is the you know the cure in the mirror. Uh, you know, centers on cancer. Uh, I got the seven secrets of great health. That's just my, kind of a oh, quick overview, 50 pages of my health protocol. But that's what I'm doing, and I feel fantastic. I'm going to get into the choline. Maybe I should do a separate video. I'm going to do that because I don't want to drag this one on. You know, uh, this is what I do, and I've been doing it now religiously, if you want to call it that, for, you know, for whatever, 20, over 20 years, 20, almost 25. And uh, it didn't happen overnight, you know, but by 2001, I started my first radio program. 
So I had figured out by 2001, I can remember, that was it called Achieving Great Health. And that was a radio program. It wasn't like podcasts. That hadn't been invented. So this is way back. And then I had one. I, I did another one for years and years uh, called the, um, you know, the rough. Uh, it was called Achieving Great Health. And that was still a radio show, not called a podcast. But, hey, um, I love all the uh, the podcasts you've got now and all the, you know, YouTube channels. and You just had none of that back then. Um, anyway, so that's what I do, and I'm incredibly healthy, and I feel fantastic, and um, I don't, I'm not on any medication. I've never been on any medications. I think medications is not the way to health. You want to take medications, take your medications. Um, I don't get the V word, V word, because, you know, you get kicked off a YouTube for nothing. So I don't take those. You don't know what's in them. You know, if you think you know what's in them, I mean, you can look up online and you can see, yeah, there's, they, they lay out and there's all this stuff in them. You think they're telling you everything that's in those things? They're not. I don't like anything artificial going into my body. You know, that's why I don't buy anything out of a box or jar or can. You know, it's just, you know, what's the point? Um, you've got everything there for you. People get so obsessed with food. I keep, I just have a salad every night because I, and just fruit for lunch, if you want to call it. I don't eat anything until noon every single day uh, people are so obsessed with food and the taste of their food and I understand that I love going and having really good tasty food but I try to really get away from that and just you know do ju juicing I juice um, you know really important really great for you you know it's the only way you'll be healthy you know, the body's a human juicer so I just eat raw fruits and vegetables spirulina and chlorella for my for my uh, protein and water which those are the things, the main things. I just don't hear all these raw food is talking about. Probiotics and prebiotics, fermented foods. I don't hear that much. Some people talk about it, but others don't. They don't even mention it. So in fermented foods, it's just water and salt. Okay, it's not uh, vinegar. That's, pres that's preserving foods. Water and salt, it, it just you can make anything within a couple of days, and it's incredibly powerful, you know, probiotics and prebiotics that are in there. So... Anyway, I won't go on, but this is what I've been doing all these years, and this is how I stay healthy, and it's uh, it's not easy, but it's pretty simple. My life is pretty simple when it comes to, to health, and this is what I do. Exercise. Never hear these raw foodists ever talk about daily vigorous exercise. They get lazy. It's easy to get lazy, you know, at 66, but I keep doing it. Dr. Bob, see you next time. Stay healthy.